In this one, we are going to be chasing the highest IPL score of all time on the hardest difficulty. 277, as you can see, Legend AI. I don't know why the umpiring was on test sliders, but now everything is perfect. Except for the total we are chasing, which is 278 beyond anywhere near what's possible. But we are going to try to chase this down. First ball will get off the mark, but not good signs though. Inside edge, we are going to have to attack from ball one and keep going until the last one. Ah, uh, almost lost my first wicket there. The first real aggressive shot of the second delivery, try to play it straight down the ground. But that was well bowled. This field is a little too good. If I want a boundary, I just have to go over the top. Edge doesn't carry another edge. This is not looking good. Fall. I have managed to flick it very fine and that will be 4. The hardest thing about this difficulty is the ball market display time. You get so little time to decide what shot to play. So you will have to premeditate almost everything. That's the only problem. Other than that, everything is not going to be as hard as our usual sliders. There we go. Another premeditated flick. And it was about 3 centimeters away from going for 6. Let's say I OK start 10 runs of the over. Ah, front foot cut, but just a single. What's the required run rate? 14, right? The required run rate is probably 14. So even 10 runs and over is just not enough. We're going to have to make full use of the power play. But man, if he bowls a short ball, I'm just not going to be able to play. Ah, wonderful. Why don't batsmen dive in this game anymore? That should have been a comfortable run. Instead, we have lost our first wicket to a dumb run out. Just a wonderful start. 1.4 overs. We've scored one run of this over. Well, this might go for six. Oh, yes, it does. What a shot. I mean, that animation. And it's a no ball. Things are looking a little better now. A six, a no ball. Now a free hit. Come on, we're going to have to make full use of this. Thank God he didn't ball a short delivery. I had already determined it was going to play straight and it works somewhat. 23 of 1.5. It's not looking that bad, but we need to be at what 28 by now. After this ball at least. Edged and we are at 27 for 1. So we are almost scoring at the required run rate. Look at that. That's some luck. I've gone for it straight down the ground and I think that is the best time shot so far. Ideal, ideal, ideal and it has been deposited for 6. Flicked it behind and that will be oh, once again so close to being 6. But it will just be 4. 10 runs of 2 balls already. We have 4 balls to go. We'll have to make it count though. Cannot be slow at any point you just have to keep going 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 even if you score like 10 runs of the first two balls you just have to keep attacking shot i did not mean to play a ramp i wanted to play a flick but i guess the batsman decided it was a perfect ball to play a ramp it was executed perfectly six runs scored 16 of it already with two more balls to go like that 2.4 is 43 has been flicked this time to the left of that fine leg fielder who was dreaming, I guess, because he could have comfortably stopped that, but he won't. We might actually get somewhere close to this target. But the problem is, it's still 230 runs away. Flaked, fine again. This should be six. Yes, it is. What an over that was. That's the over that gave us some hope. Before that, I was like, if I get to 200, it will be a big deal. Oh, that was so very slow. That ball almost came like a flighted off spinner. It took forever to come. Maybe it was a slow ball or a cutter. But man, if you'd aimed that at the stump, I would have been gone. Look at that. Very slow. This has not been a good start yet. Just one run of this over. Actually, two of this over. And it just got worse. I have... Missed a straight ball, but because he bowled a slower delivery before this one, 
I just was late this time and we lose our second wicket now this over hasn't been great I'll have to make it somewhat okay that will be six at least this time even here it barely crossed the boundary line actually it hit the boundary line on the full now in comes the captain to bowl he's probably gonna be a lot faster than the others they had like three fielders there but some way somehow it goes in between everyone we cannot lose a wicket anymore we need another 210 runs man we'll have to have a good partnership here 100 runs of like five six overs that would be great another ramp another shot that i did not mean to play but i'll take it anyway because it's going for fours and sixes and flicked again this is six for sure man as soon as it left the bat that just looked like it was going a long way the required run rate is 13.4 and the current run rate is 15.4 and we haven't even lost that many wickets we might actually be on track to chase this down now the 200 runs to go 15 overs if we can bat like this for another 5 overs it will not look that hard from there but the problem is the power play ends after this one and most probably they'll start with spin that is going to be a challenge gone for it again this time was early i'm surprised the ball went that far away i thought that would be out but that goes for four 5.285 for two i see you cannot believe it Nat. i don't know how it happened but we are on a roll here and he pulls a nice wide delivery a little on the slower side as well and i get out playing a regular cover drive all those risky shots didn't get me out but a normal cover drive did now i want a right hander at the crease my left handers are just a little too tricky so the fact that we have two right handers at the crease is a bonus that's for sure i'll just have to keep going at least for these three balls that will go for four as well three boundaries at this over so even though we lost a wicket i'm still going good pushes it across well the last ball of this magical period of only two fielders outside the 30 yard circle let's see how it goes i've gone for it straight down the ground edged and goes in the gap this change of pace deliveries one is slow one is fast you have no idea when to time it five fielders outside the 30 yard circle but i think i still have managed to find a gap that was a very risky shot man if not for the most perfect timing that would have gone straight down extra cover's throat look at that bad flow we are still going strong even after the power play i just hope i don't go through a collapse right now went for it edged I didn't even run, I thought that was four, but these guys have placed a fielder right behind, but it won't matter, we'll get five runs instead of four. That was an overthrow, two fielders were standing right there, but they weren't bothered enough to stop it. Nine, ten runs of this over, still of four balls. Two more to go, we need another, what, three runs of this over. I've gone for it, please go for four, oh, that was so close, just a feet away from that fielder look at that for an extra cover drive again off the toe almost but still 171 needed of 79 man that sounds impossible right now leg oh it's in the gap it's in the gap and it might run away for four that is probably the greatest placement you'll ever see five fielders outside the boundary line and we have played a shot all along the ground timed it a little well and found the gap now the required run rate is only 12.8 how did that happen we might actually stand a chance no don't carry please ah that went on one bounce only three singles of this over we need a boundary here somewhere ah the change of pace again come on run hard why why is everyone so slow maybe we could have made it but i cannot lose another wicket on a dumb run out Toss stop it was in the arc you hit it as straight as possible very safe and it'll get four and why couldn't it have gone for six i played it as well as you could come on give me another nice juicy toss stop half volley 
He bowls it a little flatter. We still manage to get some connection. And the result will be the same. Flat. What a shot that is. Without a doubt, the shot of the innings. So the bat flow on that. Look at that for a shot. It was a little on the back of a length side, but we still managed to hit it, smack it on the front foot. Look at that. That is just a beautiful animation. Tosses it up, gives me a full toss, stems me, but well, we will have the last laugh. Sky will get to 50, a strike rate of 242, that's what we need. 9.3, 137. And once again, I have gotten out while playing a regular along the ground cover drive. That's the second time that's happened. This might be more risky than all those lo lofted shots. That's edge. And that's probably going away for four as well. Half the number of overs are done. And we've scored more than the... we scored more than half the number of runs required. I mean, we might actually be on track. If we don't lose wickets, this is totally possible. 132 still to go, but they're gonna go with spin on both ends for a while now. Flicked again, and it is away from that fielder. He's not standing where he usually stands. So that will save us from another wicket. That should have been out. Edged, and that is the third time that Tom cover drive has gotten me out. I'm just not gonna play cover drives along the ground anymore. Yeah. That was quick on target as well, and we'll still come back for two because of the awful timing. Wow, that's a shot and a half. That's gone a long way. As perfect as a straight lofted drive could could get. It wasn't even that full, but we managed to time it. But still only 7 of this over. We'll need another 3-4 runs from somewhere. That's gone in the gap. But he doesn't have the legs behind it. Just 2. We have kind of slowed down in the last 4 overs. We have lost a few wickets as well. Because of that, Ah, he's dropped it. That could have very well been the end of this match if we had taken that. But we'll get a life and hopefully we... Make sure it ends up costing them. Gone over extra cover. That's the only gap. I think I've hit it well enough for six. No, I haven't. That was a meter away, man. These these balls should go for six. We would have gotten two extra runs. And because it went for four, I'll probably have to take another risk right now. I've gone for it straight. And once again, it probably will be only four. I think if this was on a smaller ground, we would have been already at 200 because so many shots have landed just before the boundary line. 109 required. If we can get it under 12, the required run rate, I mean that would be an achievement and from there I think it, not, it wouldn't be a that big of a thing to chase it down. David gets to his 50 of 22 deliveries. Come on, another 50 runs of another 22 deliveries, that's what we need. That's been hit a little straighter this time, but still in the gap. Well, hitting sixes is just not happening, so we'll have to be happy with these one bounce boundaries. The required run rate has jumped back up to 14.43, the game is lagging, and I almost got myself out there. Tossed up a little quicker. 94k has got the edge and will get the boundary as well. I mean, I'll take 3-4 boundaries like this as well. Who cares as long as we keep getting 4s. We want for it again. Another edge. This doesn't seem to have enough legs behind it. But no, it will go for 4. 13.3. 185 for 5. I've not looked at my score in a long time. Just looking. The run, number of runs needed, a soft, soft dismissal there. That ball was bowled as slowly as you can possibly bowl. And I've hit it absolutely nowhere. A simple cotton ball. And that's it for our batsman. Now, 
winning from here if he can do it it's gonna take some batting but why is he bowling so slow man that's 87 k's no way and they're gonna review this i think it's still spinning a little too much the impact itself is outside off so it doesn't matter now tosses it up oh that was so close to the leg stump and once again spin come on i want some pace on the ball they're just gonna bowl these super slow deliveries and then one of these which are much quicker than the usual ones and those deliveries usually get you bowled or lbw 93 of 35 six overs 93 one big over where we hit like four sixes that would be good hit straight well there's one i think yep another three here and that will be the big over we are looking for 102 meter hit that was a big one ah this time it goes flat hope it at least goes for four no it won't and i won't even be able to come back for two all that effort for one run i've gone for it but i think this should be out and there goes all our hope David goes for 62 of 28 deliveries. I don't even know what's that. A strike rate of 240 or something. 221. With 11 fours and only 2 sixes. 86 required. And well, the match is done. But let's see how close we can get. I don't think we'll get anywhere close though. I mean, if I get all out for 200 now, it would be a shame. Hit it straight. Oh boy, that's gone for six. That's been hit off the middle. Edged. It goes in the gap. I think anything below 250 and we still could have chased it down. But 280 is just a little too much when you lost seven wickets. Hit straight. Even though I've middled it, it has not gone anywhere. Wicket number 8 gone and we are probably going to get all out before facing our 20 overs. Now the required run rate is still only 21. And we only have 3 overs left. If we had 2 batsmen at the crease, we could have tried a little but now. He's bowling slower than ever, turning the ball a lot more. 9 gone, 2 overs left, 57 runs. And he bowls a full toss and that will be... The last wicket taken by their captain. We lose by 57 runs but it was much closer than that. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see me try to chase down the highest international T20 score, click the video on screen. For now, like, comment and subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.